just before we get into the video this was a suggestion by this guy right here so check out his channel and yeah we are back and this time we are we are not playing any game today i worked on this video since i started flying to cypress and that's where i've been i've mainly just been working on this script in my spare time and checking out my discord server just to see how well it's been doing but anyways we are talking about the creeper smp and its lore and what happened before and the whole thing in general because let's just say this story just gets deeper and deeper this specific server has so many events happen that is chaotic as hell. Wars, controversy, and aftermath. But anyways, let's just get straight into the first bit of the story. Alright, so I didn't expect to be talking about this much shit in this specific video, but this one is going to be a long one. So the first chapter is going to be about the whole reason why I got into invited to this server and the off-camera bullshit. The whole reason why I got invited is that me and this dude uh, became friends just recently, and he invited me to a bunch of servers like this hardcore one, which ended up not working out, and we just forgot about it, and we went on. And eventually he invited me to a server called Creeper SMP Reforged. And also, it's specifically called Reforge for a reason, so just remember that for later. The hardcore server was meant to become a series, but that series got cancelled. Anyways, so he invited me to the server, and he turned on the server for the second time ever. Because I was not invited when uh, he turned on the server for the first time, and I did not really miss much after the server had been turned on for the first time ever, because after I joined the server, all I saw was broken trees and dirt houses, and... I just started recording and yeah, my first video came out. Before I get to the lore behind that video, I just want to mention that the reason why the server or the Creeper SMP Reforge is called Cre Creeper SMP Reforge is because there was a server before this server and it was called Creeper SMP and not Creeper SMP Reforged and apparently the owner says that I have missed a lot because I haven't played on that server. I don't know exactly whether he started the server before we became friends or not. But I think he did, because no one mentioned it to me before. But anyways, let's just talk about why this server exists. Well, I'll put it in simple words. This is not a normal SMP. Yeah, no fucking shit, that's the entire point of this video. Yeah, uh, after the first 20 minutes, I thought this was some normal server, but then apparently some bullshit happened with my house, and war started to happen. I'll get to that after a few chapters, and yeah, now I knew that this was not a normal SMP. Well, first of all, this is a server uh, with a group of friends like me and mine of guests who got invited later into the server, and this server is chaotic as fuck, I can say that. Also, Mind of Guest did not get to play at all in this server, which is funny as fuck, because he missed out on a shit ton of stuff. He was out in Russia at the time, so uh, it makes sense. But uh, eventually, this server became a really good Minecraft server uh, that became a series on my channel. And I do not like those videos because they were really shittily edited. But it has a really fucking good storyline, to be honest. Now this is the video that started it all, and just so you know, Kiba, or that guy, uh, is the server owner, in case you want to watch the video, but in this video I just grinded some stuff like iron and wood and all that shit, no need to talk about that boring bullshit, but by the way, keep inventory was on, and I didn't even realize until halfway through the video, and that was also an important thing to note, because apparently, because it was turned off in the nether. And that's gonna cause some bullshit to happen, which was depressing, but the good thing is that it didn't happen to me. It was turned off in the nether just to add a challenge, and yeah, it was a pretty decent idea, I guess. I'm pretty sure that it might- well, I might have split this video into two episodes because of how long the recording was. Eventually, I found some dirt castle, which I didn't- which didn't actually mean anything yet. I actually forget that part. I don't even think that building was important or its location because it was blown up later by the terrorist organization. It's Nick's house by the way, so yeah, not really that important for now. Nick is an important person to know, but he will not really be un important until episode 2 or 3 and I'll make a separate chapter for him. I got diamonds first in the server, so that's pretty nice. People were getting mad at me for speedrunning the game, which is kind of funny because I used to be a speedrunner and that is not really important right now, but it is funny to mention. But, uh, keep inventory was turned off in the nether, right? And yeah, Foxy died in lava and lost his stuff, but he got it back as well, so this is not really important, but it is just gonna cause a butterfly effect later. But for now, nothing really that important happens with the nether until like a few episodes later. 
Episode 3 gets mental, and well, even I said that in episode 1, which is funny, and I specifically said, no one is gonna attack me, right? Right before I got blown up like three times! But anyways, I made a house building montage and et etc. Everything is so happy days for now, right? But after a, a bit, some dude named Sheepy appears and started placing dirt all over my house. He said he was helping, but, and I went to get some spruce from my house, which was a horrible idea because I came back and the house was destroyed for the first time. But then I go on a killing spree and I think Sheepy went to live under my house, which is the most random fucking bullshit that I've ever heard of. And I fixed my house and I went on. Then some random fire started appearing and I found out that Foxy was burning my house in a, a hole near my house, which is also something to, that isn't important for now, but this whole incident is probably the most important thing in the entire series. He also said he was in the terrorist organization and yeah, that's how the terrorist organization became a thing. The reason why I'm summarizing this video is because of how important it is for later. The terrorist organization is something I will also explain later. The Sheepy and Foxy are in this company, but they asked me if I was wanted to join. I obviously didn't want to, but I said I'll think about it just to be on their good side. Yeah, and I had no idea who Nick was in episode 1. Anyways, that's literally the entire episode and it and, and ended there. Yeah, jack shit happened in this episode besides my house burning down and Terrace Inc. becoming it a thing. Those are probably the most important things right now. Episode 1, in, one is not really that important, but episode 2 is a fucking nightmare compared to it because all the things that I said in episode 1 are gonna be important episode 2. Also, this is a screenshot of the Terrorist Inc. Or company info in the server. But, uh, I will talk about episode 2, then stuff like Nick and the Terrorist Inc. incident. Just so you know, Nick is gamer in the chat, so if, if you are watching the video, but before I started recording, Nick killed me and because he thought I would destroy this house, and we became teammates because both of our houses were burned down, and I think he lied because of this specific screenshot, but... I think my house was burned down again before the recording, and apparently I thought that episode 2 would be the last episode. But no, it went on for like a good f 4 more episodes I think. I, it was really controversial to have Nick as my teammate apparently, but that will be really important later. He also started living in my house that I fixed again, and he started living in the spot where Sheepy was, which is the trapdoor leading to the hole under my house. The guys wanted revenge for some reason, I don't even know. And after this, teams became a thing, and then I started recording. Okay, how the hell did we get this much time into the video already? But anyways, episode 2 is probably the most important episodes to probably talk about. Usually an episode is like 2 minutes 30 to 12 minutes long, but this one is about 18 minutes long. This means that this episode is really packed with BS. Okay, so I mentioned that Nick is my teammate. Well, we grinded some stuff together and got some diamonds and a bunch of stuff like that. Oh yeah, my house got blown up like by a creeper by like, I don't know, a f three or two times during the video, which is kind of funny. Nick also died in the nether and lost his stuff, and we also grinded some stuff again for like 27 minutes. Okay, so the main goal of this video was to like get two full sets of diamond armor, but that didn't really work out because as you know, Nothing in these videos work out besides episode 4 to like 6, I think. Also, here is some stony, funny stuff that happened. Apparently, Nick thought a pigman was an actual guy, but then he trapped him in a hole and got killed by the pigman after. And then, the pigman disappeared. Pretty cool, right? After some grinding, we found some woodland mansion, and I think this is the point where the episodes start getting good. We found, uh, we had some epic chase scenes and died like a good three times while we trying to get there. But eventually we got there and we got chased by like two 700 Vindicators and died. And went there again. And then another few hundred Vindicators appeared and killed me. And then the third time we robbed the entire woodland mansion and stole everything in there. Yeah, after we looted the entire woodland mansion and took the bookshelves, totems, emeralds, and a smithing template for some reason, Nick left for the last time and he never returned to the server again. Apparently, the ser the owner or the server owner created a team of three and called that team the good side. I had no idea that being teamed up with Nick was this controversial, but I ended up on the bad side. 
for some reason. And yeah, you'll see that later this did not work out as the good side became the bad side and the whole thing is a huge migraine. But for now, we'll call the server owner's team the good side to not complicate things. So the good side asked me to betray Nick after all that we've been through. And I can still get back to the good side after I betrayed him. I still stayed on this side that I'm on for now. The terrorist organization is not on any side, so just note that at the back of your head. Yeah, anyway, so I got obsidian and I crafted a, you know, an enchantment table or enchanting table or whatever you guys call it. I made it in a secret room with all the stuff that's important to me in there, mainly because I was curious to see whether the guys would invade my base as soon as I left. Mainly because of this one DM I got from Spirit at the time. Okay, so this is editor me. I think I meant that there was a DM or like, you know, those secret messages you send to people. Yeah, that is meant to be what happened. And I think I got it during while I was playing in the server, uh, a DM or whatever, a message from Spirit saying that, you know, they want to betray th that side whatever that team i told them my cords and let them invade my base and ke keep the area with all my valuables a secret and then i went to go mine lapis for my enchanting table which was in one of the secret rooms i asked them why were we at war anyways they answered nick i got fortune tree uh from the enchanting table and life was going great in the server. And then soon later, I was while I was mining, I checked my DMs and it was true. They were planning to do a betrayal. And after I told Spirit my base cords, I knew everything was becoming a little suspicious from then. After I all uh, after all of that, I left the server and episode three began. Yippee! So we get to talk about the guy who changed the entire lore of the server and created a war as soon as he left. Yippee! Well, this dude had been my enemy at first but because I was accused of destroying his house, but then we became teammates because apparently both of our houses were destroyed, and his their house was his house apparently. This dude became teammates with me and we managed to find a woodland mansion. This which is also a key thing to note because the Woodland Mansion gets a comeback at the last episode of season 1. This dude was the whole reason why the two teams became a thing which are the good side and the bad side. The reason why this server owner hates him is because the server owner said that Nick lied about his base being destroyed or something, I don't know. But it turned out to be true because Spirit also said that a few episodes later. And Spirit is kind of neutral but on the good side at the same time, but he won't be exactly worth talking about until like episode 3 or something. Nick found the haunted mansion which we grinded and after episode 2, he left the server completely without a trace. I don't even understand why he left, but nobody understands where he has gone to this day, which is kind of sad because he won't get another war in season 2 for a bit, unless the new people mess up or something, but after Nick left, then the good site immediately said that I should probably betray him, but it was too late because he left the server and I had no choice and after all of that, I didn't have a teammate until season 2, which is gonna probably start soon, I don't know, probably after all the old projects are done. But yeah, he caused a war to happen between me and the good side, which is 3 versus 1, and then the episode ended there. Then Nick will probably never return, ever again. Okay, so I logged back into the server, and also, just so you know, this is the point where my editing changed and a lot of chase scenes happened in this video, and led to this video being about 5 minutes long, but before I visited my base, I went to go mine in the caves and explore a bit, and I found a bunch of lapis as soon as I died. And I respawned and the spawn point, and my bed had been broken. And I started looking for my base, and as soon as I found it, the entire base was broken, and nothing was left. Well. Besides the secret rooms. Well, anyway, so I packed up my stuff and started heading 2,000 blocks away from spawn. And while I was and while I was looking for a new spot for my base, I I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting, but while I was rewatching the videos for the script, I genuinely liked the third episode in comparison to the other two. The editing is way too better. Like it's actually fire. What the hell? 
But anyway, so a bunch of chase scenes happened in the caves while I was mining, and you know, the casual stuff happens. And this video is kinda short, so I had nothing to write about in this specific script, so sorry if the next few chapters are a bit more shorter. The chase scenes are the main highlights of the video, like come on, we don't care about the lore. This is the real stuff. But anyways, so during the path to the new base, I died and I actually had no idea where to go until episode 4. But here's the reason why the episode is called Betrayal, so you know Spirit, right? Well, I was asking in chat whether anyone wanted to trade diamonds for yeah, for food. But sorry for interrupting, my cat just interrupted the recording so I had to restart this part of the script. And then the server owner denied, but Spirit was fine with it, and then he admitted that the server owner was being uh, not a nice person. And then he revealed the chords of where he lived, and then the journey there was miserable. Like, I died a good few times trying to get there, and... Yeah, as soon as I arrived, the area looked destroyed and everything from that area was broken and filled with lava. And then the episode cuts off with a cliffhanger. Ah yes, what a classic to end to a show like this. Okay, so in this episode, the main goal was to build a new base. But before this, the explanation to the cliffhanger is that Spirit blew up the place and betrayed him. And then I think we traded off camera and we talked for a bit about how we left the good side because they're, they were being not so nice, and he decided to become neutral and leave the area to go and build his own base somewhere. And then there were a bunch of wars in this server, but for the sake of this video I have to simplify everything just because then the video would be like 2 hours long, really. Episode 4 is really short, and episode 3 is the most lore out of the short episodes, which are episode 3, 4, and 5. Now anyways, in this episode I found the spot where I built my base and made it underground just in case people somehow managed to find it. But anyways, so a creeper blew up my house and I rebuilt it. I don't know how many times my base has exploded, like what the hell. This has to be some world record of some sort, but anyways, I worked on the base for the majority of the episode and yeah, it looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. And anyways, so another chase scene took up like half the video and we got some clay for the base and yeah not much happened for the entire episode yet but the majority of the episode is just a worse version of episode 3 and then the episode just ended there like bruh jack stuff like happened in this episode like i feel bad for the people who actually like the server and then got this really bad episode gets published but before i get into next chapter i just want to mention the, I, I just want to mention that I will talk about the terrorist organization later in this video as another chapter, which I'll probably decide myself when later. Okay, in this episode the main goal was to build a creeper farm, and my mic was muted the entire episode because I think I forgot to turn it on, and I think so, mainly because I use post commentary, I think. I also mined a lot of diamonds in this video, I think like about three stacks. Oh yeah, and the guys who blew up my house were being haunted, and jack o lanterns were started spawning in their base. And this also ended up foreshadowing another thing later, but I'll get to that, and I'll be talking about the next episode, uh, when that actually happens. And I also got netherized somehow in the video, I think I lost my fortune 3 pickaxe in the nether when I died, and that was off camera while I was mining. And then for the majority of the episode, I mined or made the creeper farm and oh yeah I while I was making the creeper farm a skeleton appeared and I wanted to kill myself in the game to respawn and get more stuff because we didn't have shulker boxes at the time and the skeleton missed like 90% of its shots and then it finally killed me and I also broke the dirt that was meant to save my fall later and then I died when I got my stuff and then I had to travel back again, which is probably the most funniest part of the video to be honest. Also, I, yeah, then the episode ends as soon as I finished building the creeper farm and then the finale took place like a few months later I think. I should probably talk about it first before the terrorist organization and then I'll think about what else I should talk about after that, all of that. Episode 6, the finale. Now in this episode I mined for diamonds again and I've made a company and here is a screenshot of the info. I also extended the base a bit and I found the mine shaft under my house and yeah, great stuff. I went for a few deliveries in the video and yeah, it's it's all doing pretty well so far I guess. 
And yeah, mission successful. The trade pr did pretty well, and I went back to the base to get more and do another delivery, but I'll be honest, the spawn area looked so different from the last time I went to spawn, which was like episode 3 at the time, and I usually eat, and usually each episode was like a recording of 4 to 8 hours of gameplay cut into these short under 30 minute videos, so this was a huge change because there were borders everywhere as well. I had random lot, a random lava, and a bunch of different structures. And I went on the neutral team from then because the dark side or bad side doesn't exist anymore. Also, I found out that Spirit was living on my house ruins, my old house ruins, and with some other fellows. And then even and they even had a, like a whole farm system in there as well. And then I did the delivery and I went back to the Woodland Mansion to revisit it. But I came up with the troll where usually there's like a diamond block in the Woodland Mansion. Like, you know that obsidian room? Yeah, and in this one, the diamond block wasn't there for some reason. I think, and then I placed a diamond block somewhere in the Woodland Mansion and then placed lava on top. And then I burned the entire Woodland Mansion before. And then I got some blocks and then... Yeah, thought of another company idea where I'd sell, like, enchanted books. You know, that idea didn't work out because the series ended at episode 6, but there was a second season planned, so... Yippee! Oh, and I and had another chase scene in the video, also I'll get to the whole explanation on why the episode is called The Haunted Mansion as well, because you guys are probably curious about that as well. So while the mansion was burning down, there were noises everywhere and blocks were being placed and broken and a bunch of stuff like that was happening and walking noises as well. There was no one in the mansion as well, even after questioning my friends after the Creeper SMP series ended. Oh yeah, another chase scene happened and I was told to do another delivery for like 6 stacks of gunpowder, but I told Spirit to go to the Woodland Mansion instead. Oh yeah, remember when I was talking about the jack-o'-lanterns thing? Yeah, there was a theory that the same guy who did that also did the noises in the Haunted Mansion, even though that guy doesn't exist. After all of that, the chase scene happens in the, the nether this time as well. Oh yeah, and I got blaze rods and stuff like that and built an XP farm for myself, I guess. Oh yeah, I died and I respawned at spawn. Oh yeah, and I had to go all the way back to base again, which is also kind of funny. I also traded for netherite smithing templates. I also grinded XP in the nether with another method, and yeah, that's the entire lore of the last episode. Yippee. Okay, so this is the final proper chapter that I've planned, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video until now. But anyways, right now we are talking about the terrorist organization, and... Yeah, terrorist organization is a company made by the company that blew up my house. If you look at the info given here, the terrorist organization either got paid to blow up my house or they came up with the idea later after they blew up my house. Now, this company didn't really do anything to me after they blew up my house. All they did was stay neutral throughout the entire series, and all they were was a nuisance, but the only time it was mentioned again was in episode 6, when I did a delivery to them, and I suspected that they were going to use the gunpowder to keep their company flowing and working, but the terrorist organization collapsed, and the server collapsed, and was never to be seen ever again. Now, this is the company that I created at episode 5 and 6, and mainly just to get some source of income to keep the economy going. This also was named by the server owner, I think, because I remember I had some trouble trying to come up with a name for it a long time ago. And yeah, Gunpowder Co. became a thing. Then it actually was the first company to have actual customers, mainly because the terrorist organization one was isn't confirmed. But this company also collapsed and because the series ended, and I will talk about why the server ended soon enough. First, I'll talk about why the series got cancelled. Well, the reason why is simply because the server got deleted by Eternos due to inactivity, and that's just a theory, mainly because the server had not been turned on for a few months, and Eternos had addressed a new rule stating that any servers that haven't been turned on in a while would be deleted. And this led to the demise of Creeper SMP and the end of this one server that will be forever remembered in our frontal lobe as one of the best servers to exist. But there is a hope, a reality. 
and a being out there trying to communicate with us with some research. The server had started up again and Creeper SMP 3.0 had just started. This had been the start of Season 2, but then the server had to be restarted again because it didn't work on Bedrock and Season 2 had been waiting, a present from Christmas waiting to be opened. And since we knew that there was no way to recreate that experience we'd been through, but Season 2 is still there. And we were trying to make a better, longer season that will edit it way better by me and fully recorded by me. We have learned that there will be no way to re-experience this one SMP once again, but we can forever have it in our heads, talk about it, and possibly start season 2. The end. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.